And I don't know how to explain that to her, but at the same time, like, I don't want her to be like traumatized by the guilt of it being her fault. So I just got back from a little mini shopping spree at Michael's, Marshall's, and Target, three of my favorite places. From Marshall's, the main kind of agenda for today was for me to get stuff for my Galentine's little situation. Since I'm single and I have two close friends, Sadie and Kanisha, who are also single. Last year, we celebrated Galentine's together just as something fun for us girls to do together since we kind of knew we wasn't gonna have a date for Valentine's Day. And this year, I'm not gonna say sadly, because it's not sad, but this year, it's looking like the same thing. So we're gonna be doing a Galentine's. And I found some cute stuff at Marshall's. I got these three pairs of pajama pants and they've got the little lipstick prints on them. And then I got these pink kind of tie-dye hoodies to go with the pants. And then I wanted to put together gifts for them. So these are the gift bags that I found at Target. Really cute, one for Sadie, one for Kanisha. And I got both of them, these candles at Marshall's. They're little Valentine's themed candles. So it's got little hearts on top and the scent is called Hugs and Kisses. And it actually smells really good. And this is like a really nice candle. So I got two of these. I also saw this at Marshall's, which I thought would be a cute little Valentine's treat to incorporate. And then from Target, you know, I had to get some chocolate as part of the gift. So two of those. Got some cotton candy, cause I wanna do like the cotton candy rose or cotton candy champagne moment. And then I just needed some coffee creamer for myself. Also at Marshalls, I got this hoodie just for myself because clearly I like this color and this was just cute. So I got Zaya some underwear <laughs> that she needed. And I also got this room spray for myself. It is black vanilla linen spray. So you can like spray this all in your bedroom, on your bed, on your towels and sheets and stuff. And it smells really good. And then from Target, I got tissue paper for the gift bags. And then I also got all of this stuff in here for Zaya's school Valentine. So every year, you know, the kids make little Valentines to give out to their class. So I got little bags and just little goodies to put in the bags, not candy because we try to stay away from giving the kids too much candy at school, but like little slime, toys, bubbles, stickers. And I thought these were cute because they're like, yeah, there's pink and red, but there's also like blue and green and yellow, just in case some of the little boys don't want pink and red. So yeah, just some cute little stuff. So later on at some point, I'll have Zaya help me put together the little goodie bags for her class. Another day, another slightly tacky tie-dye hoodie and more black leggings. I need to work out this morning. Taylor was kind of acting as my personal trainer for a while, but we just, we've been so busy lately. Like we're really pumping out content. She's working on her own content and we have been so, so busy, both of us, that we just completely fell off of our work Workout routine. I think I talked about this on my Instagram stories, but some of you guys may be wondering if I'm already built like a number two pencil or a ramen noodle, why am I working out? I'm definitely not working out to lose weight. I actually would love to gain like 20 pounds. And I've been saying that for the longest time, but I just cannot gain weight. This is what we're working with. Uh, people ask me all the time, like, how do you, how do you stay so skinny? How do you keep your figure? I'm just naturally skinny and I kind of hate it. I didn't even tell y'all. My pantry has these levels of shelves, right? This shelf right here is like five feet up. So I always put the bread and the baked goods up on this shelf because I know Bougie loves bread. And if you leave bread within his reach, he is going to get it. He is going to rip into it. He's going to eat it all and destroy it. I went to Trader Joe's. I drove 30 minutes to Trader Joe's just to get this special bread that you can only get at Trader Joe's. I brought it home, I put it on the top shelf. I come back in here, Bougie has the whole loaf of bread, ripped into it, ate half the bread, he bit off at every piece, so now the whole loaf is contaminated. I'm like, how did he get up here? What is wrong with you? Do y'all's cats do this? Why Why is he like this? This was, the, I only was able to save three slices of bread out of that catastrophe. You know, I love you, but you really make my life difficult. So it's like much later in the
the afternoon now and I still have not done my workout. It's 1.30. So I think I'm gonna have to start waking up early, which uh, I am so not a morning person, y'all. And the sound in the background is my, what is that called? air vent thingy because I had a plantain that was about to go bad so I wanted to fry it up and look what I did to it. I know I was excited to eat that too. I chopped it up and put it in the oil to fry and then walked away from it for one second and then ended up sitting down at my computer and getting distracted with work until all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute. And I ran in here, them things was burnt AF. So now I'm trying to get the burnt smell out of my house and trying to find something else to eat. I think I'm gonna make a bacon Caesar salad. Okay, so boom. H-E-B cracked pepper Caesar chopped salad. They give you all the little thingies. Then I like to add these crispy onions and then we got the bacon. Raven's Ratchet Kitchen does it again. I've never put bacon in my Caesar salad before. Bomb, try it. If you like Caesar salad and you like bacon, combine it together. Good morning guys, we have a bit of an emergency. I just glanced over at my fiddle leaf fig tree and realized that I don't think I've watered it in like three weeks. Let's actually check my handy dandy moisture meter and see just how dry the soil is. So when you stick this thing in, it is supposed to move on the meter and let you know where it's at. Oh, haha, <laughs> it is almost off the charts on the dry scale. <laughs> She's really starting to look a little sad now. I want her to live. Don't die on me now. I've had you for like two years. I do not know anything about plants. I've never had real plants or been able to keep anything alive. So the fact that I've had this for over a year and it doesn't look the best, but it's still alive. I'm pretty proud of that. But now she's starting to really look bad. Y'all gonna get tired of me showing this little mini waffle maker, but I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I've made multiple different things, but I'm gonna be trying something new today. I saw this on TikTok. Somebody put biscuits in their mini waffle maker and I thought it would be good to use the honey butter biscuits, which I've never even tried these biscuits anyway, but you just take a biscuit and like turn it into a waffle. And I thought it would be good with like honey and butter on top. So I don't know, let's see. Saturday mornings are always like experimental breakfast days. Where's the little peeler thing? It's like becoming a weekly tradition now to break out the waffle maker on Saturday mornings. Woo! Oh, it's got like little butter chunks in it or something. Okay, just gonna put one in there and squish it down real hard and we'll see how it turns out. Wow, actually looks kind of good. Let me put another one in there. Okay, now for the taste test. I'm just gonna use my hands because this is my house and I do what I want. Mmm. Mmm. Wait, that's actually good. It's like crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Mm-hmm. I recommend this. Zaya, come taste what I made. Ooh, it is hair washing day for real. Look, it's a honey butter biscuit waffle. What is going on with your hair? Were you sleeping crazy last night? Yeah, I was like wiggling and wobbling. Wiggling and wobbling, I can tell. What do you think? Just wrapped another Instagram photo shoot. This time we broke out backdrops and we broke out a different wig. And what else did we do this time? We got some photos with Zaya. And she got to play with Levi again. I didn't vlog during the situation because it's just, it's always so much going on that it's too hard to multitask. Last time I had my little sister here and she was able to vlog for me, but she wasn't here this time. So we just didn't have enough hands on deck to get the vlog footage as well. But you guys will see the finished product of the pictures on the gram soon enough. Now Zaya's modeling. Taylor brought me flowers. I kind of messed up the bouquet because this isn't the proper like vase for it. But she brought me these really pretty flowers as celebration. Basically, I've been working with Taylor and Ralph for like one month now. And within that one month, I landed my biggest Instagram brand deal yet with their help. So that was like super exciting because after only one month of them helping me, I landed such a big brand deal, which was just such like validation of the work that they've been putting in. And just like, I'm so thankful for them and them helping me with my content now. That's just like super exciting. She also brought donuts. Get you some friends who come to your house to work, but they bring you flowers and donuts. I 
I feel so stupid recording myself crying right now, but the only reason why I'm vlogging this is because I'm manifesting a happy ending to this situation, to this video. So like I just said in the previous clips, I was doing another photo shoot with Taylor and Rel today. We were taking pictures around the house, some with Zaya, some without Zaya. Taylor's son, Levi, was here. So in between shots, when I didn't need Zaya for the photo, she was able to play with Levi. They wanted to go play out on the back patio. And whenever anybody opens a door, especially the back door, Bougie, our cat, has a habit of wanting to run out the back door. So I know like if this door is gonna be opening and closing and people are gonna be coming in and out, I put Bougie in the laundry room and I close him up in the laundry room. That way we know he's in there, he's locked up in there and we don't have to worry about him going in and out. So that's exactly what I did. I'm like, okay, if y'all are gonna be going in the backyard, I'm putting Bougie in the laundry room. And I told Zaya that and Zaya also knows the drill. Long story short, Zaya decided that she wanted to let Bougie out of the laundry room and not only let him out of the laundry room, but also let him outside into the backyard and let him out, watched him run away and then didn't tell me. And this happened earlier this afternoon and it wasn't until later this evening that I'm like, oh, poor Bougie, he's been locked up in the laundry room all day. Let me go let him out now. Now that we're done taking pictures, now that everybody has gone home, I go to let him out. Of course, the door is open and he is no longer in there. And I'm like, who let him out? Like, where is he? So I go looking around the house and I'm calling him and he's not coming and immediately I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm like, Zaya, where's Bougie? And she just immediately bursts into tears and explains everything that I just told you, admits it, tells me the whole story that she wanted to let him out. She wanted to also let him outside. She watched him run away and just didn't tell me. I don't know why, like I just feel, this is what's really confusing me because Zaya is so smart and she loves Bougie and she cares about Bougie and we've had like this situation before where it's like, we don't want Bougie to run away. So if you see him running away, why wouldn't you say something? Like, I just don't know. But at the same time, she's four years old. She's four years old. That's really the answer for everything. Four year olds just do stuff sometimes, right? The problem is that that had to be at like three o'clock in the afternoon when that happened and I didn't know about it until probably like 8 p.m. So who knows how far he's gone. Like he's not an outdoor cat. I don't know if he knows how to find his way back home or anything like that because he we don't let him outside. And yes, I've been crying about it because Bougie is my first like pet of like my own. Like I had like cats and stuff growing up, but in terms of like me being in my own house with my own pet, like he's my first pet and I love him. Like that's my pet and I know Zaya loves him too. And I don't even know how to like explain this to her really. And the fact that she knows that she's the one who let him out. Like that's like trauma for a little kid to like feel that guilt. And I don't know how to explain that to her, but at the same time, like I have to in some kind of way, like discipline her too, because she has to understand that that's not okay. But also I don't want her to be like traumatized by the guilt of it being her fault that Bougie is gone or whatever. I've been sitting here for a while, but I decided to pick up the camera and record this, not only because obviously it's a very real, real life moment. And I'm also just, I am manifesting a positive outcome. Bougie is going to come home. I and manifesting that he is gonna come home. He will come back, he will come back. That is what I'm manifesting. So by the end of this video, Bougie will come back and we will have a happy ending to this story and I will be able to show you guys that he came back and everything is okay. It worked, you guys, it worked. Literally not too long after I just put the camera down, he came back, it worked. I knew it would work. Manifesting is real. Manifesting is real. Oh my goodness gracious. Jeez Louise. What ended up happening is I had the food out there for a long time. Like it was already been like a couple hours that I had food sitting out. I looked online and saw where they said if you put their litter box outside that they can smell their own scent. So I went and put his litter box outside and literally only a couple minutes after putting his litter box outside, he came back. Now I can go to bed because I was not gonna be able to sleep. I was planning on staying up all night and watching the door. I'm very relieved. And now I can go to bed, so. Good morning. Hello. Guess what? what? He came back last night. Are you happy? New day, same vibe. Back at it again with another Target haul. I went to Target earlier today. Today, I mainly got a lot of cute stuff 
clothing wise for Zaya. So I wanted to do a quick little haul. I always like to get these little soft pullovers for her whenever I see a cute design, especially if it's like pink or gold or whatever. I thought this one was really cute. And then they had these leggings, which were perfect for Valentine's Day, obviously. So she can wear these to school when they have their little Valentine's party, maybe even wear this and this together. I don't know. Then I found some really good clearance deals. I didn't even realize that this was on clearance until I went to check out and this was only $4. This is like a really nice, high quality, super soft pullover. Like I was thinking it would be more like a little pullover dress on her, like sweater dress. And it's got this little detail right here. Then this was also on clearance, not $4, but $15. The weather has been really crazy here. Little did she know. Normally by now, I would kind of already be starting to get warmer, like springtime weather. Don't really need to be buying jackets anymore, but it's like 85, then down to 30, then 70, then 40, then 30 again. So it's like still pretty cold. Go. You have no idea. So I also got this little windbreaker one as a more transitional piece when it does start warming up a little bit, but you just need like a little something to throw on on top of your clothes. I thought this would be good for that. And then what I was really excited about is this swimsuit. They started putting the swimsuits out and you gotta you gotta get it while they get in good with the Target swimsuits because I always wait until we actually about to go swimming and then I'm like, oh yeah, Zion needs a new swimsuit because she outgrows them every year. And then if you wait until it's actually swim time, then all the good swimsuits are sold out and they only have like the ugliest, tackiest ones left over. So this time I acted early and look how cute this is. And then boring little thing, I needed a new bath rug for my bathroom. I just get like simple white ones, but they do get kind of dingy over time. So I just end up replacing them. And randomly I came across these little, uh, I wouldn't call it a sports bra because it doesn't have that much like support to it, but it's more just like a, like maybe a yoga bra a lounge bra, a soft bra. And I picked it up because they were only $7 a piece and they feel and look exactly like this other one that I really like that I got from Urban Outfitters. And I wanna say that one was like $20, $30. And it's exactly like this. So I got two, I got black and I got the olive green one. So you can see it has like that really nice um, ribbed, stretchy, soft material. So like, I feel like for me, for the type of working out that I be doing, I could probably work out in this. And then I got a lamp, but y'all will probably see more about this in a different home decor update video. Zaya always comes home from school looking like she just survived a natural disaster. You like it? I wanna see how it fits you. How's that? Oh, that's a good fit. Wow, you wear big girl sizes now. That's not even a toddler size. That's a just a girl's extra small. Tonight, can I wear these Valentine's pants? Well, those are not pajamas. I mean, you could wear them as pajamas, but I wanted to save them for when you guys have the, your Valentine's party at school. Okay. But I also got you this and these two and a swimsuit for when it starts getting warm enough to go to the pool. Yeah, because I really want to go back to the beach on summer. And guess where I want to go next year when it's a weekend. Next wanna... year weekend? Yeah. Where? Disney. Disney? <laughs> what you know about Disney? Because I'm Disney Junior. Do you need to go potty? Mm -hmm. You doing the potty dance. Go potty. All right, y'all. So I just dropped Zaya off at school. I had said I was going to get my workout in, wake up early and get my workout in before she even wakes up. Of course, that did not happen. So we are going to fit it in right now. I dropped her off. Maya is not here yet. I have a little about an hour before Maya comes over here to get the work day started. So I am going to get my workout in right now. No more excuses. Okay, so that was just a 10 minute little guided exercise for posture, for tech neck. I have the worst tech neck, the worst posture. It is so embarrassing seeing videos and pictures of myself and seeing how I'm, my neck is like <laughs> hunched over like that. It is so unflattering and I've been noticing it getting worse and worse and worse recently. So I did that and now I think I'm gonna do like a more glute lower body focus little exercise, probably Chloe Ting or something. <laughs> I'm definitely sweating.
sweating and feeling the burn. And Maya just got here and now I can take a shower and start my work day. People ask me what happens with excess stuff in here. People come shopping in here, that's what happens. Maya is shopping for an eyebrow pencil right now. Hey, don't be such a <laughs> My mom is shopping for a wig right now. Welcome to Raven's um, beauty supply. Oh, show, show, show people what you what you've done. Let me see you look this way. <laughs> so if you get a bigger size and a, a black color, a black bob. Oh, you still want a bob? Yeah, I don't want all this. Mm -mm. Well, just a short. Bougie, you have to stop scratching the back of these chairs. Bougie has been using this as a scratching post recently. Actually, both of these two chairs are his favorite to scratch on. And these are expensive from Restoration Hardware. These chairs are too nice for you to use it as a scratching post. So I have an idea. So I kind of did this before with my plant because he was messing with the dirt and what I did was I covered the top of it with foil. He would just be like, oh, what's that? And not want to mess with it. So I'm thinking if I just temporarily wrap these chairs in plastic wrap so that when he goes to try and scratch, it won't be a very good texture to scratch. And then after a while, he will just learn like that's not a good place to scratch. So it's just like a temporary thing just to kind of train him. Look, there he is immediately. Look how he's looking. He's like, what the heck is this? Now y'all done covered up my favorite scratching spot. Ah, don't try to bite it off. Yeah, uh-huh. What you gonna do now? You gonna try to take it off? Don't, bougie. Anyways, I will update y'all maybe in the next vlog on how this works, if it works. Zaya, come here. Look what I got. I got all this stuff to put together your Valentines for school because you gotta make your little goodie bag so you can give them to your class. Okay, so you have 19 people in your class, so that means we need to make 19 bags. And we don't have 19 of each thing, so we're gonna have to just mix and match. So the easiest thing to do is to put everything in one pile and just mix up what each person gets. Let's start by putting a mix of of three things in each bag. Bougie. Do you want a daddy tennis card too? Bougie, this is not for you. Yeah, that's for my romantic friends, not for you. Bougie, what are you doing? That's hey, no, get down. You yeah. trying to take the stuff out of there? Yeah, that's for my friends, not for Okay, so we were actually able to put four little toys in each bag and we have a couple extra. We didn't have enough to make it equal, so I just wanted to make sure everybody has four toys. Everybody gets four different little things. We made sure to put a variety in each one. And now these are to tie them up. So I need you to peel them apart. Good job. And then do this piece too. And then mommy will help you. You gotta like go like this and go like this. this part's kind of hard, so mommy might have to do them all. And then it's a cute little goodie bag. Zaya, I think school is gonna be closed today because the roads are icy. Let me give you a audio representation of what the weather is like today. Hear that crunch? That's because it's frozen. You can see the like ice crystallization shapes right here. Today is Thursday, so no school today, that's fine. But I know Zaya will be sad if there's no school tomorrow because that is their big Valentine's Day party tomorrow. And then I will be sad if the weather continues to be bad because I am supposed to be going to Dallas for Valentine's Day weekend this weekend to see my friends. I booked a hotel for us. We booked reservations for wine tasting. We booked dinner reservations, fun little weekend, girls weekend, all booked and reserved. And then here come the weather, wanting to be icy. And I ain't seen my friends in a hot little minute. And I was excited to go and excited to have something fun to do on Valentine's Day because I ain't got a man. <gasps> if I get stuck in the house lonely by myself just because of the weather, I am going to be mad. Ha 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 ha. So let's hope that that don't happen. 
So it's been a couple hours. It's actually 10 a.m., not 12, but it says 12 because the power just blipped. So everything reset, everything turned off, which is so annoying. Now I have to reset the time on all of my appliances. And looking outside now, there's literally like ice cubes everywhere. This is Cajun breakfast potatoes with spinach, eggs, and bacon, and a little bit of Trader Joe's chili onion crunch on top for some added spice and flavor. Well, I'm about to cancel our hotel reservation for our girls weekend because weather has only gotten worse today and it is going to apparently just get colder and it's just probably not a good idea to be trying to make a trip from Austin to Dallas in this weather being that both cities are having freezing conditions. So there goes our girls weekend. There goes my Valentine's Day plans. That's canceled. <sighs> I'm annoyed because that was my first fun thing that I had. Well guys, it's Friday and literally it looks like an ice maker, a giant ice maker has exploded in our backyard. This is actually really dangerous because this is covered in ice. Look at this. <gasps> What? I've never seen this. Look at this. Everything is just encapsulated in ice. Everything has a thick layer of ice around it. Look at the, what? This has like an inch of ice surrounding it. You guys, my sink. Oh no, are my pipes gonna burst? Was I supposed to leave this dripping? It won't turn on. It's like frozen or something. Oh my God. So it probably goes without saying at this point that school is canceled today as well. Today is Friday. Today was supposed to be the day that Zaya brought her Valentine's and had her Valentine's Day party. But school is canceled because the roads have turned into ice skating rinks. It's supposed to be like this and only getting colder over this weekend. So we will be in the house, like I said, just trying to stay warm. All right, so it is Monday, February 15th, nine o'clock in the morning. I am wearing my full winter gear inside of my house right now because it is freezing inside my house. So let me just give a quick rundown of what's been going on over the past 48 hours or so. I think the last clip cut off, I wanna say on Friday. And that's when I had said that I knew we were about to be stuck in the house, weather is bad, whatever. I did not think that it was gonna get like this. As of right now, the vlog should already be done. I should already be giving the footage over to my editors for them to start working on editing it right now. But I can't do that because in this very moment, there is no electricity in my house. There is no gas in my house. And a lot of people around me have no water because all of their pipes are frozen. So they're not able to get water out of their faucets at all. I am okay. My life is not in danger. But the thing is, I am here at my house by myself. Zaya is actually at my mom's house because she went over to my mom's house on Saturday, Zaya was bored because she hadn't gone to school or whatever. And so she just wanted to go over there just to get a change of scenery. So she was able to go over there and she's been stuck over there ever since because of course then the weather got really bad and we essentially got iced in and then snowed in on top of that. So they have not been able to come over here and I have not been able to go over there. So that's just been kind of interesting. Right now it is snowing. What kind of terrain is this? 